Hi, good afternoon everyone. This is Karan Kakkad from Reverse Factor where we help people reverse lifestyle disease with the help of right food. Food is our best medicine in case we want to reverse lifestyle disease. We have understood that food can either make you in the disease or can get you out of the disease. You know, and lifestyle diseases have become an epidemic, be it diabetes, be it fatty liver, be it high blood pressure, be it liver disease, be it thyroid, high cholesterol. Every other member of some of the other families are suffering from this. And we need an answer. We need to do something about it right now. However, today we are going to speak about weight loss and obesity. If you look at the statistics, last 30 years, child obesity has gone up 100%. Okay, I repeat, last 30 years, childhood obesity has gone up 100%, you know, which means that our future generation, you know, all those, you know, young men and women, you know, all those kids, all those teenagers, people in their 20s, in their 30s, you know, they are the future of this nation. And if they are unhealthy now, if they are obese or overweight now, then what, you know, what good health are going to carry with themselves when they are in their 40s or 50s, right? You know, 1980s, uh, packet food industry started going up. You know, biscuit, bhujia chips, kurkure cornflakes, and lifestyle diseases started going up, okay? In fact, when we were young, eating out was a weekly affair, you know, once in 10 days, once in a week. But these days, thanks to Zomato, Swiggy, and a lot of, lot of uh, you know, fast food restaurants and home delivery services, you know, people have started eating out or started eating unhealthy every other day. You know, eating out is not a problem, but it has to be once in a while, once a week, once in 10 days, twice in 10 days is okay. But, you know, eating junk food every other day is just an example of bad habit. And it is habits that reverse disease and no diets. You know, I have seen last six, seven years, I have seen so many people, you know, losing good amount of weight. I've also seen so many people struggling to lose weight, right? Because they are focusing on the wrong things. And today we are going to discuss five mistakes that people make when they want to lose weight, okay? We need to understand something that overweight is a hormonal issue and not a willpower issue. If our hormones are balanced, we will very quickly lose weight, okay? And if our hormones are not balanced, no matter how much walking we do, no matter how much tennis we play, no matter how much squash we play, you know, losing weight will be a challenge, okay? So the right way to lose weight is very important, okay? Five mistakes that people do when they want to lose weight, okay? Number one is that they focus on calories and not on nutrients, okay? This is one of my favorite thing, which I keep always, you know, harping a lot about and if I keep educating people on this. You know, people think that eating less calories will help them lose weight. And I think this is one of the biggest myth, okay, that people are living with. Imagine pao bhaji has 100 calories and samosa, for example, has 50 calories. And therefore, you might choose that I will not have pao bhaji, but I will have, you know, samosa. That is not the way to lose weight, okay. In fact, so choosing less calorie is just doesn't work because, you know, historically, Historically, we thought that food is a source of energy or food is a source of calorie. But new science is showing that food is information. Every bite that we take can actually talk to our cells, which means that 100 calories of Coca-Cola and 100 calories of a broccoli is not the same. You are taking in 100 calories, but 100 calories of Coca-Cola will do a lot of bad things to you. And 100 calories of broccoli or beans or carrot will do a lot of good to you, right? So what I'm trying to highlight is the quality of nutrient is far superior than number of calories. Now, say for example, if I am eating 1000 calorie, which includes pizza, burger, donuts, pasta, you are having 2000 calories, but that includes carrot, beans, broccoli, bell peppers, all that. Who is better off? Even if you are eating double the calorie of what I am eating, you are still better off because your nutrient is very high. You know, your nutrient value is very nice. So the first message that we need to understand is focus on the nutrient and not on the calorie because calorie just doesn't work. It is an outdated concept and so many people still 
focus on the calorie part of food and they still are not able to either lose weight or not able to reverse their disease and still you know having their obesity and obese uh, with them but the first mistake that people do is they focus on calories and not on nutrients the second mistake that people do is they focus on short term and not long term you know i think one of the one of the focus area that people should be focusing always on creating long term health okay how do i create long term health important is not losing 15 kg in 2 months i know people want to do fast they focus on speed rather than consistency okay lot of people they tell me that you know help us lose weight 15 kg in 2 3 months it is not right do not focus on speed focus on consistency you know i don't want that you lose 15 kg in 3 months and again 7 8 kg come back i am happy if you do lose just 2 kg 2 and 1/2 kg in a month but you are consistent you lose that 2 to 1/2 kg for 6 months and you will end up end up losing around 12 to 14 kg the point that i'm trying to make is that focus on long term and not on short term you know it the, the most important part is that we should be fit fine healthy when we are in 70s and 80s therefore long term health is very very important who is interested in short term you know i mean 2 months 4 months that is that is not a good way of looking at life right so we need to create long term health and therefore you need to focus on consistency and creating long term which is very very important when people come to me you know in fact this year when a lot of people came who are 95 100 kg 115 kg i tell them that by the time this year ends you should be around 80 85 if you are more than 100 which means you take time it is okay on an average 2 and a half 3 kg i am very happy in a month but what i want is it is consistent you know five months six months you keep losing weight and you create good health and when you lose weight in a sustainable manner when you lose weight in the right manner when you lose weight by focusing on long term and not short term or shortcuts then your weight doesn't come back also as easily as it would have if you had focused on short term so the first mistake that people do is they focus on calorie and not on nutrients second mistake that that people do is they focus on short term you know they focus on speed rather than focusing on long term or focusing on consistency the third mistake that people do is they do not focus on holistic health you know when people speak about losing weight what is the first impression that we get or what is the first thing that they say that i'm not eating much you know i want to lose weight i'm not eating much but losing weight is much more than just eating right yes food does play a very very important role in that equation but losing weight is much more than that losing weight is a hormonal issue which means that you know maybe say for example sleep right so sleep is a, such a important part of our health and quality sleep and weight is directly related so a lot of people may be eating right but they are not focusing on good sleep they are not focusing on being active physically they are not focusing on their emotional health the amount of stress they do the amount of constant living in the past that they do it will not help them at all right so the 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 third uh, mistake that people do is that they only focus on the food part they do not focus on the three in, other important pillars as we had discussed earlier good health has four pillars food being physically active quality sleep and emotional health so if you want to create you know if you want to create long term good health then you have to focus on all these four pillars in fact in fact you know i tell this to most people that losing weight has to be a by product of becoming fitter losing weight has to be a by product of gaining good health you should never focus on losing weight per se you should focus on creating good system you should focus on creating good health and as a by product you should lose weight that is the right way to do it so the third mistake that people do is they just focus on the food part of it they do not look at the holistic health and the quality sleep emotional health and being physically active when you do all these four things together you create good health and losing weight is just a by product of that okay the fourth mistake that people do is they make weight loss the center of universe 
they make weight loss the center of their entire life as if you know if they will not lose weight some there there will be another corona virus that is going to happen please understand that losing weight is a journey right you know a lot of people i you know you know when they come to me after two weeks you know they talk to me again they tell me that my bloating is better my acidity is better you know i'm feeling better my bowel movement is better but i have just lost half a kg i mean it's okay give it time give it time do not a lot of people have the habit of going on checking their weights every single day they stand up on the weighing machine a weighing machine every single day this is not going to take you anywhere let's understand that losing weight is a journey and it has to happen the right way please do not make weight loss the center of your universe let it be a journey which should happen smoothly and you should not be taking stress you know anyways you take a lot of stress which you should not and now do not take stress of losing more weight you know it should happen as a process as a journey so that is the fourth mistake that people do and fifth mistake that i realize what people do is they do not focus on an important vitamin known as vitamin d vitamin d is not a vitamin it is a hormone vitamin d has multiple roles in our human body and one of them is fat metabolism so lot of people i have seen when they are unable to lose weight and you know they are very stagnant weight one thing they don't check is their vitamin d levels and when we ask them to check it which should be above 25 30 to be in the normal range that comes to 4 that comes to 3 that comes to 5 so the point that i'm trying to make is that it is equally important that you check your vitamin d levels which is very very important so five common mistakes that most people make when they want to lose weight number one is they focus on calories and not nutrients number two they focus on short term rather than long term they focus on speed and not consistency number three they make you know this entire weight loss thing center of their universe number four is they you know do not focus on holistic health they just look at the food as one part of the story but do not look at the other parts of the story and number 5 they do not check their vitamin d levels so if you or your family anybody is wanting to lose weight ensure that you are not trapped in any one of these five mistakes that most people make remember losing weight has to be a journey losing weight has to be a by product of becoming healthier it cannot be a myopic focus or a very narrow focus on just losing weight and caring about nothing else in your health right so i hope this comes to you very strongly as a message do imbibe do share and you know make everybody aware that they should not make this mistake and long term good health is what they should focus on right and one last message that i would want to give is that fiber fiber is the best friend for people who want to reverse their overweight issues fiber is the best friend if people want to reverse lifestyle disease or their overweight or their diabetes and where is fiber found fiber is found only in plant foods so more fruits vegetables more natural plant foods you eat you get more fiber and the more fiber you eat you reverse your lifestyle disease including weight loss you know thank you so much everyone for listening to this before i sign out let me just quickly take couple of questions you know uh, janvi sureka is asking does consumption of rice affect weight loss you know as we discussed what we do in totality is important you know not just one or two cherry picking things will will matter as if you know eating chocolate twice a week is okay you know eating rice every day is not a problem what is important is what you do throughout the day so janvi if you are eating lot of fiber throughout the day if your fruits and your your salads and your drumsticks and if you eating lot of fiber throughout the day eating rice is no problem you can take rice but ensure you also take vegetables with it and it is absolutely okay uh, anup bhag is asking how to reduce acidity if i have piled so so these are two different things uh, uh, anup bhag so one is your acidity part another is pile so an uh, uh, acidity again lot of things that trigger acidity things like milk products milk products are highly acidic so you better avoid milk products for two weeks and you will see much better in your acidity level uh number 2 we had advised earlier that you take jeera water jeera water is an excellent detox drink 
it really helps you in your gas acidity all that so you start your day with jeera water you can add a half spoon ajwain so jeera water with half spoon ajwain it works wonders for people who have gastric acidity issues and for piles again lot of lot of fiber will help you in piles but two foods that help number one is prunes prunes are very good for piles number two is uh, soft water which means fennel seeds water works wonders for piles and number three is anjeer which is dry fruit figs this is also excellent for piles so these three things should help you in your pile also okay and uh, chia seeds doing some uh, yes uh, jagruti chia seeds will also help you in weight loss because it is a super food which helps you burn fat but apart from weight loss chia seeds has also many many benefits you know like it is excellent for diabetes it is it has lot of good fiber it has lot of plant protein tons and tons of vitamins and minerals so chia seeds definitely you should have will help you for overall health not just weight loss thank you so much once again share this and spread this right information to as many as you can because education is more important than medication if you want to reverse lifestyle disease thank you so much everyone have a good day god bless you